going on guys? Great Disciple back with another video and I have a subscriber question from Trinikid513. I think I mentioned him before in another video of mine about helping him get a nuclear. Anyways, here's the question. It comes from the I can make you better video. It says, this may be a little bit long, but I'm a freshman in college, a sophomore standing, and a lot of people have told me that you need to get involved on campus, and I feel like at this point I'm over committing myself to a lot. I have four jobs, I consider YouTube my pay less job, laugh out loud, and I'm a part of at least five to six groups and I run social media for one of them, on top of school. I know school is the most important right now, but what should I do with the over commitment? It's a great question. It's a balancing question, a question that we all have to figure out in our lives. Some people have a natural ability to say no, and some people, they feel this thing with inside of them that says that they have to say yes to everything and everyone at all times. There's a quote from a guy named George Whitfield. He was a famous philosopher, also a church leader, long, long time ago, and he said this, learning to say no is of more use than Latin. I know some of you are like, what does that mean? Well, Latin is the easiest way to dominate the English language, to have a very powerful vocabulary. But he said, all of that means nothing if you can't learn to say no and learn not to overcommit yourself. Overcommitment will crush you. In the process of trying to help too many people, you lose who you are. Let me give you seven reasons or seven benefits of learning to say no. And these aren't from me, these are from the experts. Number one, Learning to say no helps you, helps you resist temptation. Number two, it keeps you from the stress of overcommitment. Number three, it protects your family or your personal life. Number four, it gives you adequate time for what matters most in your life. Number five, it preserves your energy. And by the way, you're young, but as you get older, your energy is going to diminish. And the more you can say no, the better. Uh, that was number five. Number six, it allows you to keep room for the opportunities in the future that will come up. You know, there are things that are going to happen in your life, and if you are overcommitted, you're going to lose the ability to do them. So be careful. And the last one is, it permits you to control your schedule for the ultimate good. I know you're in college. I know you're figuring out your path. I know there's all these cool things that you can get involved in. You got to make money. You got to do your schoolwork, but you also want to balance out that social schedule. Man, I, I can't stress it enough. It's good to help people, but whenever the helping of people destroys yourself, it becomes detrimental to your health. So you got to learn to say no. You got to learn to say yes to what matters most. You got to prioritize. Prioritization is the key to a successful life, in my opinion. Okay? School's important, man. Keep that at the top. You got to have a social life or else you're going to lose grasp or the reasoning behind why you're doing what you're doing. But don't forget to help people in the process. I think you need to back off. You need to back off at least one or two of those part-time jobs. You probably need to back out of one or two of those groups. I hope it helps. If you like to hit the thumbs up button, as always, leave a comment down below. Let's help Trinikid and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one.